Should be going to be fun. Ten laps to get it all done. Green lights are on, and everybody is already stepping out of line. Are we going to do this four wide thing again? I think we are as we go to turn one. Why not four wide, maybe five wide? Who cares? Let's bring them on. We got one sideways. We're still green. Look at that battle. Three wide up front. Three wide for another four wide down the back stretch. Oh, my goodness. I let this one sort out. I got no more nails left to bite here. Five oh, wide. My maybe God. six one wide. All. They're all over the place. Who's going to lead lap one? The 214 was leading going into lap to turn four. He come out about 10th. Yeah. And now he hits the wall in turn one and two. Tanner Coggins, it was the race leader. Now that changes, and we have got problems in turn number one and two. Time to green off of turn number four, and there's the bandit. Dale Bennett trying to make the move on the start as they go to turn one. TJ Slack right there with him on the outside. Uh, bandit clears with the slide job. 33 car of TJ Slack with a crossover. Dies back to the inside. Great side-by-side -side battle there to turn number three and four. Slack trying to get back by Bennett through corner number three and four. Back down to the line this time by. They're still wheel-to-wheel -wheel at the line. Couldn't quite clear it. Bandit one is still leading. TJ Slack is running in second. Presnell running third. Presnell might be able to get that second spot, but if he wants to win, he better get, take care of second spot early because he's only got about two and a half laps to go to get to, get to the race lead. These two drivers battling behind the race leader. They're actually catching the leader down the back straight away into turn number three. We're going to have a good three-car battle for the win here as we come down to the line with two laps left to go. Presnell clears TJ Slack. Now he's going to have to try to reel in your race leader with two laps to go. Presnell dives to the inside. Going to try to give as far as get on. Oh, makes a little contact. They trade in sheet metal. He says, I'm coming through. Bennett gets knocked to the high side. Presnell with a race lead. They're still duking it out. Presnell with a race lead. The power move is going to pay off. Caden Presnell wins again. Wow, what a finish that was. Dale Bennett's second. How were you able to get that done and end up back here in victory lane? Uh, yeah, we started like 16th and uh, definitely got pretty lucky on them uh, on all, like, all the starts and uh, it all worked out perfect. How are you able to summarize your dirt track at Charlotte Motor Speedway experience? Two wins, of course, your dad winning as well. Are you guys satisfied with your week here? Oh, yeah, this has definitely been a really good uh, uh, weekend. Green lights are on, and we'll see how much they fan out this time. Looks like they're going to try three wide already as they go to one. Why not? Mitchell Coggins takes the race lead in the four car. They're three and four wide back in the back. They make a little contact. Everybody's green so far. Everybody was able to make it through turn three and four and down the back straightaway, trying to get lap number one in the record books. It looks like we are going to do just that and down across the line. Looks like it's Justin Harris, the leader of lap one. Justin Harris takes the race lead, but the four of Coggins will fight back on the outside. Casey Tao, car 11, he's running third. I look for him to try to make some noise as he's trying to get the win. We got one in the wall down the back stretch. Back to green. Harris gets on the gas, drives away. Mitchell Coggins trying to stay right in his tire tracks as they scramble from third on back. Looks like Casey Towell up to third. Casey Towell thought might be making a charge to the leaders, but he's not able to make up any progress. Meanwhile, back in the pack, Presnell is up inside the top 10, up inside the top eight. It would be unbelievable if they would go four for four this weekend, but he's got a chance. Hello, Newman. Up into position number seven, looking for another spot. Oh, he's got him almost wrecked in front of him as they go down off of turn number two and down the back straightaway from fourth on back. It is a literal hornet's nest right yes, now. Yes, it is. Mitchell Coggins and Casey Towell behind him going at it now for positions two and three. Towell on an outside lane. That'll prevail as they go to turn one and Mitchell Coggins back to third now. I thought Towell might be a player in this as he's trying to get second, but he's a long way back from the 1-8 to Justin Harris. And Presnell is going to have to really turn on the afterburners if he wants to make up all this ground. He's probably three seconds behind your race leader. Down the back stretch, half a lap away from being a winner here at the Charlotte Motor Speedway out of Gray Court, South Carolina. He is a world short track winner here at Charlotte Motor Speedway, Justin Harris. Clearly excited your friends and family here as well. Explain to me, what are you feeling right now with this win? Finally, fat guy finally win this thing. <laughs> I'm out of breath. You got everyone cheering for you. He's got to be celebrating tonight. Oh, yeah. I just wish my little girl was here. Screen flag. He took Harry Hogg's advice and took it literally. Now we're doing their four wide thing. Tribute to Mark Abernathy into turn number one and two. Yeah, let's single back. Oh, they got one sideways and just push, 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 push. Hang on to it. Let go of him. 
We're still green. And they're going to spread out down the back stretch. They're into the infield trying to avoid any contact in the meantime. Willie Fowler trying to lead lap number one, but it's not going to happen. Austin Haskin with the lead into one. Austin Haskin, race leader, the world famous Willie Fowler running in second. We got one slow in turn two. That's the 14. Green lights are on as they go to turn number one and two. Fowler making a big bid for the lead here on Haskin as they go to turn one and two. And from there on back, we're going to be three wide again off of two. Three wide down the back stretch. Trent Blackwell started way back in the pack. He's three wide on the inside trying to get that second spot. Trent Blackwell, one of the fastest cars in this division, and he has shown it. Went from the rear up to second. Trent Blackwell up to second as they go to turn one and two. Fowler there for position number three. We're three wide again, or at least trying to, for spot number three, four, and five as they work down the back straightaway. Kelly takes fourth. The world-famous Willie Fowler back to fifth, but still all Aston Haskin out front. He's uh, about eight car lengths over the A23 of Andrew Rich. Trent Blackwell running in third. Austin Haskin out of Longdale, North Carolina. has got one slow car to navigate. If he doesn't mess it, he's going to do it off of turn four. Austin Haskin out of Longdale, North Carolina is a winner at the dirt track at Charlotte Motor Speedway. I don't know what to say. This is my first ever win. Wow. And it feels good to do it right here at Charlotte. This is awesome. Is this going to go down for you? I mean, they always say the first one is the sweetest. It's the one that you'll never forget. But to do it on one of the biggest stages like this, does this just boost your confidence, knowing that your first win came at one of the hardest races? It really does. There's a bunch of good guys here we race with. And I've tried to outrun them all year. I had car troubles last night, pulled the motor out. So we put it back together, and she was on the rail. <laughs>